Hi friends, there are hundreds of, if not 200, more than 200 varieties of mangoes grown in Florida and I don't think we have tasted more than 15, 16 varieties. So as we move forward into the mango season, we will be tasting new varieties that we didn't taste last year. And one of such mango is this one today. The color looks almost like Duncan mango and the size looks like Hayden big enough. So actually, this is a cross between Hayden and Duncan mango and it's a Sturrock. Uh, this variety is named after uh, David Sturrock. Uh, he um, had a mango grove up in West Palm Beach. Uh, today we do know that mango farm as Tropical Acres Mango Farm. So it was a Sturrock farm before. So and if you've been to Tropical Acres, you will see still the signboard of Sturrock Farms there. So we have never tasted this mango before and when you taste a mango variety for the first time, you never know whether it tastes better if it's a little um, less ripe or sometimes it doesn't taste good if it's overripe. Sometimes it tastes better when it's overripe. Sometimes it loses a, loses a little bit of acidity when it is overripe. Uh, today we had guests and we were tasting uh, sugar loaf and super glen mango and they were kind of overripe already for me. So although for friends, they seem to enjoy it a lot. I would have liked them to be a little bit less um, overripe. So, you know, it again depends on who, what kind of mangoes someone likes. It differs from person to person, also from mango to mango. So, Starok mango today, don't know much about uh, it except for the fact that it's a cross between Hayden and Duncan mango, which I like Duncan mangoes, the late season Duncan. So let's see how this tastes. Uh, no fragrance, no bad fra <laughs> fragrance either, so looks nice. It's big size. I don't know what the weight is these days. People started to weigh the mangoes to say, so that would be a more objective way of telling, okay, this mango is really big because my hands could be small or big size and there's not much, okay, I have this knife, which also could be smaller. <laughs> I could bring an iPhone, latest iPhone and say, okay, this, this is as big as the latest iPhone. But anyway, this is a big size mango, heavy as well, nice color to it. It has a nice um, orangish vermilion color here, dark yellow and some pale yellow on this side. And looks clean. Uh, one, two spots here, otherwise it looks clean. Okay, so let's cut it and check. Okay, that looks orange. Let's go deeper. There's a deep orange here and pale orange. So I think, and I can feel this juice dripping while I cut. I don't like, since this is a big size, I'll cut further so that your mouth is not all covered with mango all around. <laughs> Classic mango fragrance. Mm. It is sweet, very sweet, like those um, Duncan's doesn't have anything of Hayden as far as I but it does have this classic flavor which you can attribute to Hayden I would say uh, mild sweet very nice flavor but no complexity to it not like it has many fruit flavors to it I would just say it's a nice mango tasting sweet mango Hmm? Yeah, it's like a, you know, no objection, sweet tasting mango, which um, with no fiber. So, you know, you could, you, it could also be one of those mangoes that you could give someone to taste to as their first mango, because there's no fiber. The consistency is soft and melting in the mouth. It's not chunky. There's no bad aftertaste to it. And uh, there's no spicy note. There's no acidity. It's just sweetness is good as well as a first time trying mango. So I, and the size, people usually go for size as well these days. It's a good size mango that you can feed uh, a big family with it. And in the end, yes, the seed, uh, I mean, the skin is thin as well. 
the color outside looks good so if people get attracted by colorful mango so i think it's a good mango to have as um, a gift um, for friends who haven't tried mangoes before and then once they like this then you introduce them to more complex uh, and varied taste in mangoes same like in music you start with something and then slowly you grow into complex music like jazz music so you slowly get into mango mania and as you go deeper you get into more and more spicy more and more complex more and more mangoes with many different fruit flavors combined so this was about the sturok mango um, i think it it would also be a mango that can be used for uh, smoothies if you want to make drinks and smoothies because there's so much uh, you know flesh in it so keep watching uh, and more mango videos are coming thank you